I got a question. Oh, my fault, Grundy. I'll go ahead. Talk to me. Go ahead. I like Grundy yeah. first. Uh, I was going to ask you. I don't know if you probably addressed it, but how do you, who do you feel has more pressure on you in this battle? Because a lot of people look at this as Cortez's end game. But do you feel any type of pressure? Does this do anything for you if you if he wilds nah, out? Nah, this don't. Right? Nah, this don't do. Nah, it's a, it's, it's a fuck no. Does, huh? It's a nah. It's a work like it's it's not really my job for like to decipher you know in these interviews and certain things that I say and in the spaces it's not really my job to decipher what's battle rap shit and what's business shit you get what I'm saying like that so um you know I just talk my shit you get what I'm saying so but people mostly like a lot of the media a lot of the blogs a lot of the fans they obviously tend to get which is which confused you get what I'm saying so it's like um I know in reality like the business side of me I know don't this don't got shit this don't change nothing I'm a draw, like I'm I'm the house, you know what I mean? Type shit, like I ain't come on, bro. I dropped if in battle rap terms, let's just say in fan terms, in fan terms, Surf dropped two main events back to back, Lux and Forty, and then said, "Yo, hey yo, I'm about to go do media. Hey yo, sit me right there, give me the middle chair," and then said, "Hey yo, I'm ready to battle again. Hey yo, give me him, give me him, give me him." So it don't. I clearly battle when I feel like it. So in, in a business sense, it doesn't do anything. Win, lose, or draw. But in the battle rap sense, you know, when we talking shit in the interviews and stuff, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, who's it matter for more? And, oh, surf, if you drop this and, and you got to entertain that sometime because that's your job. You know what I mean? So a lot of times I don't want to be all extra businessy with it. You know what I mean? I want to, you know, I'm entertaining. So, yeah, no, it, it affects it affects me more than it affects core because of me being who I am in the in right. in 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 battle First rap world. Thing, you know. Personally, though, does it affect you if Cortez beats you? Can you personally feel like, bro? Oh I dropped the biggest. Cortez. I dropped the biggest. First of all, like our our talents don't even like equally match up, like type shit for me to drop the ball to Cortez. But I lost the most important battle to me in my career. It's nothing that could affect me. Like, and I'm a man of. I'm a man of like. War like I'm a man of scars. Like I wear my, I actually wear my war wounds very well. You get what I'm saying? Type shit. I've never been shy about nothing that's ever happened to me, whether it been Charlie Lux, Forty, whatever the case may be. You feel me? So in real lifetime, if it ever happened like that, what the fuck would I? You know what I mean? He must have had an amazing, 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 amazing night because Cortez don't beat me. I mean, so you know. But it's, oh no, thank you. Oh no, thank you. Yeah. Nah, I, I mean, go, my, my fault, man. My fault, man. I'm not gonna lie, that might be tricky. It's God's day. He trying to bring grandson out. They trying to, they try, oh man, they trying to block my light. Chill, my sir. darkness. Chill, sir. <laughs> they trying to block, block my darkness. They trying to block your man. Look, I oh, got two more questions. One, um, can we, will we ever see gun titles versus loaded hollows? And two, probably not. Probably not. Damn. Probably not. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even excited about that. Probably not. Uh, All right. Second, yeah. um, how was your honest opinion about Prestavious' performance against um G? against OC three? Yoshi G. Yoshi G. She won. Not even like no non-bias. She won. Yoshi G. Like, second. Feel- I think Yoshi's second was her standout. Round, if I remember correctly, her, her second was a standout round. Um, you feel me for me, but um, Prestavia got the first. Like nothing Yoshi said was better than the long your father's trip to on the walk to get milk. You know what I mean? Like in that first round, first round I remember clear as day Prestavia, and the third was Prestavia. Yoshi got the second. All respect, Yoshi did well. She came up to me after the battle, and asked me, "Hey, sir, what's up? How I did?" And like I just looked at her with a face for a minute, then she smiled. I'm like, "Oh boy!" Like I mean, I start smiling and shit. Like and then I broke down to her. How I feel, how much like the difference in that battle was con- was room control. That was it. You know what I mean? That's a part of that's a part of the game. Because at the end of the day, regardless of how good a crowd is or not, room control is a is it's is an attribute. And Prestavia demanded more control of that room. So I was uh, how do you feel about everybody thinking? I feel like the only reason why people giving goods an edge on you, because I have you like low key thirty in goods, and the key not that low for real. I haven't really real. thought. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't thought about that shit. Like, like I said, <clears throat> what I don't like, right, is like I've always been outside. Like, always been outside. Like, 
even if I'm on, I only want to battle the hot niggas, whatever, I only been outside. What I don't like is like the manner in which niggas go about it. Like niggas don't just pull up and say I'm outside. Like you feel me? Like you pull up, you want like, oh yeah, easy. Hottest thing smoking right now. Surf, hottest thing smoking. Right. Like, niggas don't put in enough work for them to be treated as, you know what I mean? A certain type of, whether it's win, lose, or draw. I wouldn't give a fuck if a nigga was out here losing. At least you out here fighting. You don't pull up to my table and get what you want when you want it. That's my biggest thing. You get what I'm saying? Like, I haven't thought about who would win, who would lose. Like I said, I don't, that's what these niggas do. When you shine and when you look like you running the world, you look like, oh yeah, no, nah. oh, that's my little bro. Oh yeah, I'm the one that co signed I'm like, I pay attention to all that. Like, every time I turn around, I'm, in, I'm on Instagram, I'm in the comments. Goods gotta tell somebody he the nigga that oh yeah no nah, I'm the nigga that co-signed him I'm the nigga that you know what I mean like it's just like you just want to be a part of the light if you want to come stand over here next to me come 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 pull up but that's but what I'm gotta, saying the only people outside, whenever bro. I ask people why they have goods winning or what they think good everybody seems to think that there's this big secret that goods knows about you that nobody else knows and he gonna drop it in y'all battle and it's just gonna have everybody like oh like there's this disclosure that he's going to have. That's the only reason why people have him beating you. Good's going to say stuff that we don't already know about. Can't nobody say what Good's going to say to serve it's to still, serve. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's still it's still battle rap narrative. You get what I'm saying? Like, Nick, the way me and Good's battle is set up, like, for example, like me and Core or me and JC, the way I've talked to them is a narrative that I'm going to talk to them a certain type of way. The way these fans look at Good's they feel like me and Goods is going to be such a personal battle. Like, all rap is going to be out the window. That's why you're hearing that from, like, yo, Goods could talk to them like this. Like, Goods could say, you a little nigga's little nigga. And the crowd going to go crazy. Like, all rap goes out the window now with this, mm. with the narrative of surfing Goods because Goods co-signed me and watched me grow up and shit like that. Like, that's ass to me. But that's all they, like, I don't, I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Right. I don't know. He might know something I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead, mama. I know they need six digits. I don't give a fuck what the fuck he got to say. They going to pay me what the fuck I want. I don't give a fuck about nothing. They ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. He going to come outside and they going to give me what I want. That's it. Y'all want me to battle goods that bad? Get that bread up. All right, y'all. So, um, again, I have it's, it's quite a few requests. So, if if you get dropped down and listen, it's not in person. I just want everybody to get a chance to come up here and speak. If, and if you come up here, please have a a question. I don't want people just sitting up here for a long time not saying nothing. Well, people won't be sitting up here long anyway. So, go ahead, Mama. I know you had your hand up. Go ahead, Mama. Yeah, I just had a quick question. How you doing, sir? What's um, going on? I know that you said that you like you pay attention to um you know other rappers. Do you pay attention to any of like the grassroots leagues where people are just up coming, or only or do you only pay attention to people that like just come across your table or somebody might mention to them, or nah, do you look at other things? There's been times I've been in the spaces and, you know, like people are DM me their battles and stuff like that, or I tell people to tweet me battles and stuff, so it'd be more organic, like I'm not gonna act like I'm a, you know, like a battle historian like I just go and see what battles is, is popping at the time and shit I just, you know, sometimes they come across my table and I watch them That's yeah. all Thank you, appreciate that you got a battle you want me to watch? No, I don't have a battle I want you to watch. I just wanted oh, wow. to know how you analyze certain things because I'm in my local league. Um, I'm in Buffalo. Whoever mm -hmm. runs smoke, that's the league that is there, and we have a lot of talent up and coming. And I know that you look at all different things, and I just wanted to know your process what? of it. Shoot me one of your favorite battles from your league. DM it to me. Got you. Let them smoke. smoke. Let them smoke. Y'all yeah, know the vibes. Big Buffalo shit, you heard. Big Buffalo shit, you heard. Big Upstate New York shit. Surf gun titles, what up? What up, bro? Okay. Hey, yo, am I am I the, like? Do I have the most narratives connect connect? Like, do I have the most grudge matches in battle rap? Like, out like, do Surf, I, I like, you know do I have the I most open ended like, battles in battle rap right now? Because yep. anybody yeah, really you battle, might. you have something <laughs> like. You have a reason, like you don't just randomly battle anybody. It's something that you gotta say to niggas. So, and I feel like you probably do have the most quote unquote, I would say, grudge matches because it's always something that can be said to both people. So I would definitely, yeah, when it, if there was a grudge match list, you would probably be in. I mean, hitman like, up there. It's too. like daylight, daylight waiting on me, goods waiting on me, 
Mook waiting on me, JC Three. waiting on me, <laughs> Vixen waiting on me, Danny waiting on me, B dot waiting on me. Seven. Niggas ain't really like, and I'm talking about waiting on you, like gotta run it type shit. Like niggas don't even be, like Matt. niggas be stalking me. Official, the official waiting on me. Uh, hey, look, is the stalking me? Is the Cortez fight? Is that is it like similar to the John John fight, or you look at that like two totally different fights? Um, two totally different fight. Every fight a different fight. Um, I think. I think Cortez rap better than John John. John John battled better than Cortez. Hmm. Um, That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect. That's crazy. <laughs> um, Interesting. So, you know, I just I understand the game. Um Cortez should look way better than John John did. You know what I mean? Like that's the that's the part that like the fans don't get. You know, after the battle, like the fans are like, oh, you said he was ass, and you said like this is still a pro sport. You know what I mean? Like this is a full, like he's a pro. Like, John John's a pro, like, you feel me? Like, a motherfucker can come in there to fight. I don't give a fuck if I win by 12 or 40. A motherfucker could come in there to fight and want this, like, as much as it's like basketball, and one point of it is not, like, you can't, like, it's no defense, though. You can't say nothing when a nigga rapping. You get what I'm saying? So if he come in there and do what he do, I'm going to show, you feel me? I'm going to show love. I'll never not, like, all that ass, but I'm going to beat him. How good he going to be, I can't control. I actually hope he great. Anybody that know. When I battle anybody, I hope they turn up. Like, I ain't, like, you feel me? I feel like Twerk robbed me. You know what I mean? So, you know. John John wasn't ass. John John completed all his rounds. Shit just be looking different. Nah, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. I, really do hope, I, I, hope, I hope he do good. I hope he do good. So how do you feel about people saying if it's a classic, then Cortez wins? Like that's what they said about anything. They said that about Reed, but did Reed be surf? No, he didn't. Like, fuck what people like. Come on, bro. Like it's always going to be extra narratives on a surf. Like it's always going to be extra season on a surf battle. If it's close, like imagine that. Like imagine, imagine how like in the NBA. Imagine how the records would change. Where we say like, well, if you the Warriors or if you the Suns, if you don't win by ten or more, you lost. The records would be totally different. Like how I mean, only some extra like weird old battle rap fans put that type of much extraness on it, like to the point where like if you win, you win. It's not that serious. Like I mean, it's motherfuckers that I don't like battling motherfuckers. Like all you got to do is beat them. That's it, beat them. I mean, so you know. But whatever, this shit all play out the same way, and then everybody that just everybody that say what they were saying disappear like always. John John gonna beat them. Everybody shut up. Calico going to beat him. Everybody shut up. Oh, yeah, Twerk got him for sure. Oh, strap in. Everybody shut up. Like, this shit happened all the time, bro. Like, I'm, I've am i learned that I'm people's entertainment. It's never going to stop. If 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 John can't beat me, Cal can beat me. If Cal can't beat me, Twerk can beat me. If Twerk can't beat me, Cortez can beat me. If Cortez can't beat me, Vixen can beat me. If Vixen can't beat me, that's what they're going to do. That's I'm y'all. This is Netflix for fans. And and, and, and and work for for bloggers. If fans don't antagonize battle rappers, they don't get to just do that they want from this shit. If media don't antagonize battles and shit, they don't get to just do from this shit. I've realized that a long time ago. A lot of these niggas not smart. I realize that it's just old. Like, I, you know, I just play into it. I just play into it. Like, the fuck? After Cortez, is going to be another nigga. Like, the, the narrative is going to change. He was supposed to be Cortez. He called him ass for 10, 12 years. We knew you was going to be him. You cherry picking. You check the, the narrative going to swing. As soon as I beat Cortez, you cherry picking. You pick that battle. Niggas saying that. You got niggas that's ass saying that. You got Sirius Jones talking about he ducking. He going to talk about he only want top names, but don't battle me to battle Cortez. Nigga, you ain't a top name. At all. It's always going to be like it's, it's, it's battle rap is full of narratives, bro. Full of narratives. This shit is like the video game. Like I said, remember back wrestling back in No Mercy? Like, you get, up to, mm -hmm. yeah, you get up, you get up to a person that should be like a hit him with the chair, b walk past, c talk to him like, and then it, the story just keep going. It just depend on whether you win, lose, who you say something to, who you. This shit is a fucking joke. Go ahead, you think... oh, go ahead man. Now let JT go because he he just got up here. Man. Oh, what's good, JT? To the game. Yo, what's good? What's good? First and foremost, shout out to Tizzy Game. Can you hear me? 
Yeah. Yep. Um, sir, if I just got a quick question, then I'm going to pop out real quick. But uh, after the Cal rematch, is there any other rematches you're interested in? Nah, I ain't no rematch, nigga. Gotcha. Smack Bird is around. <laughs> no, no Bird? No. Nah. No, like, you niggas really don't understand. Like, I'm in a, like, for me, like, I, I get how fans see it. Like, as far as visually, like, wanting to see battles. But for me, like, I'm in a position where genuinely I'm only doing niggas favors. Like, some of these niggas I have nothing to say to. Like, I really have, like, I'm really doing all right to, I don't have to battle. Like, at this point that I'm, and it's very hard when you're not as hungry as you, you know what I mean, type shit. Like, even, like, with these last three, like, I'm wilding on niggas because I feel like wilding on niggas. That, that still don't mean I'm hungry. Like, niggas like, ooh, it look like surf hungry again. No, I ain't hungry again. That's just my skill level. That's that's what I could do to nigga. Like, I'm not, like, I don't got nothing. Like, Verb battling surf is going to be exciting for Verb. He's going to be in these spaces promoting and making voiceovers and, you know, all that shit. That's what's going to happen. That's what come with battling surf. The face-off, the good face-off, the views, the all the interview. Come on, bro. Cortez got interviewed by seven motherfucking blogs this week. They all hey. hip hop is real, pulling up on him. Fifteen minutes of fame. He on Norbs at all. When the hell, they both Spanish. He ain't never been on Norbs at all podcast. That's it. When surf, when you battle surf, it come with the whole setup, the whole promo package, the whole smack care about you, Beasley care about you. You get the you main. Come on, Cortez main event win, win. Somebody, anybody, we all battle rap fans. When the last time Cortez main event? Uh, I want to say him and Rock, him and Prez Mafia. Come on, him and Prez Mafia headlined what? Come on, bro, niggas don't like niggas don't. It's like niggas don't be seeing the the, the <laughs> like niggas don't see the <laughs> thing. Yeah, that that up. Not over there. Thankfully, not truth. Prez Mafia. We not doing that. That nigga don't come. That's a fact, though. I like he Prez. Did headline that card. No, it do make sense for you and Verb. It makes yes, sense sir. for you and Verb to which rematch, was, uh, though. It makes sense about? for me. Like, that's, that's not an argument. Like, at this, point, at, that, at this point, that's not an argument. We just named 10 people that make sense for me to battle. So what make one motherfucker better than... It don't, nothing, don't nothing make Verb better than Daylight, JC, Goods, Mook, Vixen, none of them. Y'all can have sure. a same argument for every person. It do make sense for you to battle Vixen. Y'all been going there. It do make sense for you to battle Daylight. Y'all been going there. You and you and Good Story. It do make sense. That don't mean nothing. These niggas have to pay me at this point. Hey, Mook, I think mean, <laughs> don't make like so fuck. Hey, like, you got a bunch of you got a bunch of different type of battlers. Like respectfully, like you got niggas that's getting a certain type of check where they trying to get their name up to get a bigger check. You got some niggas where they getting a decent check to where if they battle a lot, that equals a lot. Then you got some niggas that is like, you're like, niggas not doing the math. I just battled four times in 120 days. Do you not know how comfortable I am? I don't have to battle none of these niggas. It's literally like if I feel like battling a nigga. And it don't be like, don't like daylight and vixen is who interests me. That's like as far as skill wise, because that's all I care about is like, I don't care about. None of that extra shit. If you're not a show, if it's not entertaining, if it's not going to be fun, if it's not going to make me work, I don't give a fuck about it. Respectfully, I don't. Like, I'm interested in the daylight battle. I'm interested in the Vixen battle. The rest of these shits be for checks. That's it. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You feel me? Like, I don't know. Like, you know, fans got to, you know, fans is emotionally connected to this shit. So as long as it's battles, it's like, why won't you battle if it's battles? But motherfuckers not looking at, like, the whole like I'm not like my shit not and I mean it's humbly but my shit not set up like a battle rapper I don't need to battle nobody to slip in a couple little five six seven or seven grand to help me right now no it won't I'm gonna go to Mary and disrespect that shit like seven grand don't help me like if I mean some of this shit don't like my brand is bigger than all that shit battling a nigga in 30 days equal to in comparison to my brand like I would rather not take 30000 than not be ready for somebody. Like that type of shit. This shit don't like, yeah, nah, it's not that serious. It's not that serious to me. You feel me? But I respect the fans that's like super duper locked in on this shit. I mean, I mean, I could always get a bag. So how you feel about, honest opinion, how you feel about Chess and Cal? Like, you think Chess just been a like, oh, shit, man. wow on him, 30 him, like, honest opinion, how you feel about that, bro? Yeah, let's get to the Calico- shit. 
Calico's beat everybody's favorite before, damn near. Calico's either beat your favorite or had a classic with him, or debatable. You know what I mean? Like Calico's no pushover, no no child at all. Like, and he know how to talk to niggas. Like, he he really like. If I could use the word for one, if I had to use the word sly for one person in battle rap, like Cal Sly, like when he rapping, like he really be in pockets, it, like he be sly, and you know what I mean. And um, and uh, and say Chess is just a demon, you know what I mean. I really think it's gonna be a clash of the titans. Like I think if Chess win, if Chess win, he earned it, and if Cal win, he earned it. Like that's all I really could say about that battle. You feel me? Like mm. I, you know, Cal from my class. Anybody, right. I always root for my class. Outside of gun titles, so if this was if chess wasn't gun titles, I'd be rooting for Cal. You know what I mean? Type oh, shit like okay. that. Got so, you, got you. you know what I mean? In reality, because I always rock in my class. You know what I mean? Regardless of who it is. Um, but uh, this right here is is, is a dog fight. Like, is this right here gonna be who won it more? Like, whoever which one of them? You know, you know, Cal just pulled up to the face off Casamigo bottle, laughing, cracking the fuck up, and I'm just like, and I'm watching him and Chess face off, and I'm like, that's why. Like, I could just see where Cal like. I can see where Chess getting super locked in serious and Cal like take a sip and laugh and I'm like I can see the the, the preference in this battle already. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be a goodie. What about um Alv and uh Danny? Um Danny been in his bag lately. Danny Danny's somebody I like right now. Um I think Av Av's last one was a uh, was a uh, B dot on oh, trips. No, nah, that was it. Yeah, that was his last one. B dot. Yeah, I don't. I didn't like Av's last performance, but at the same time, he's had enough time to sit and you know, and tap in. So uh, I think that could go two one either way. If I had to put my money on somebody, I want to take. I want to take. I want to take Danny. But I feel like Danny's the more like Danny's the one of the Danny's <laughs> top, top three, top three abroad punches in battle rap. Like just about anything, you know what I mean? I feel like you know, flipping Danny is kind of like, eh, you know, Ab is a good name flipper, but Danny punches about anything very well. I think Twerk, T Rock, and Danny is the best like abroad punchers, just punching about whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so I think Danny could get it. Does the stage matter? Does the stage matter? That's a good question because I haven't seen. I don't know if Danny's a favorite on like Danny's not a stage favorite. Ab's more of the stage favorite. So um, that's a good question. Um, also, the room, like we in Atlanta right now, the room's going to matter. You know, things like that. Y'all know how battle rap go. The room going to matter a lot. You know, I think places like Atlanta, it, like battle rap in Houston is like real battle rap fans. Like it's 2,500 battle rap. Like I think in Atlanta is more like popularity spots. Like it's a little battle rap, but it's a lot like who we here to see. You know what I mean? Type shit. It's if not you like, oh, let's just do something today type vibe. Right. Like, it's going to be motherfuckers in there that's like, yeah, it's going to be motherfuckers in there like, yo, you know this shit in the A, dude? I think. But we'll see. I'm picking so you don't put no stock in the fact that Danny got a battle the week before and the week after Ab? Like, that doesn't sway your decision at all? Danny a stepper, yo. I'm not going to lie. Danny's a step. If anybody, like, the reason it don't sway my decision because if anybody could do it, Danny could. So I, I'm not gonna let that my decision. I feel about it because not everybody does what Danny does, and he's really consistent. He don't really choke. He don't really like flat. Nope. So time Danny's up there, he always like does his best yeah, to I get just... the ball. So I don't. I could see if he was up there and just like giving bullshit performances, but he's out there actually like giving good quality performances, no matter who he's going up against. So I think that says a lot about Danny and his work ethic more than anything. So, sir, what you what do you think about like uh, intertwining with music and battle rap? Battle rappers doing shows probably at uh, battles events, like maybe having a showcase or it sound like a tour. People. Yeah, uh -huh. like a tour or something. I don't know. I mean, I like just I wouldn't want I, would, I wouldn't just want to force it. Just you know, I wouldn't want to force it just because you know you want to intertwine it too. But um, you know, I guess if if motherfucking shit was good, then you know you try to do both. But I I genuinely don't think that like with me not saying that people that listen to my music don't watch my battles, but I know that it's such a different crowd that you could possibly like it's a lot of people that 
don't listen to their favorite battle rappers music so you can have a battle rapper in there basically looking like a showcase type of person or trying to win somebody over because nobody know their music i don't know if you really want to fuck the vibe up like that like imagine you know what i mean yeah i don't i don't know if i would go with you know what i mean like I'm not saying it like that but like i could fill a room full of people that listen to my music that don't listen to my battle rap you get what i'm saying so now you take a battle rap and you put them on stage and you want to have like does this whole room want to listen to their music so I don't know if I would want to intertwine the two as opposed to having a show just battle rap performing. I would be, you know, because then, you know, everybody get a fair chance just to win the crowd for people that want to come see music. But trying to mix that the two. Be fire. I think that yeah, would be fire. You're going to have battle rap fans there like, man, get out of this shit, man. We trying to get to the battle. Like, you know what I mean? Nobody, if we don't know, like, and that's just regular music shit. There's no shade and no battle rappers, but it's going to be like, man, if y'all don't get to the fucking battles, you know what I mean, as opposed to having a show where it's just battle rappers making music. Now the fans that want to hear battle rap music will come up. Okay, um, my sis D has a question. Let's go, D. Cherie. Hi, sir. What's going on? Uh, first of all, thank you for joining the Tizzy Gang space, getting us lit today, gang, gang. Um, <laughs> we love gang, you. gang. <laughs> we love gang your music. Shit, um, thank you for your music because we love your music. Um, are you okay with Appreciate a non-battle rap question? For sure. Um, I appreciate the, it, actually. <laughs> the mountains or the beach? The beach, for sure. That's, that's a that's a hand. That, wait, wait, wait. What kind of mountains? Are we talking about, like, like cold mountains or, like... Like, you up in a cabin with a hot tub, you chilling. And it's cold. Yeah. Okay. I'm not... Oh, Aspen all day. Okay. Um, yeah, Aspen over the beach. Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Mother Lord, Jesus. <laughs> Rapper R&B. Yes, Lord. R and B. I don't listen to rap. Okay, outside or inside? Inside, nothing outside but toxicity. Okay, the sun or the moon? The sun for sure. Okay, guaranteed the sun makes shit grow. Okay, chess or easy? Ooh. Ah, gun titles. What up? <laughs> hey, gun titles. That what up? Good. Okay, that, that was a good. One. One. <laughs> Why you trying to trick the man up? <laughs> no. He put the gun on safety. Then <laughs> this is not made it back. Music. No, we put the gun back in the holster no, for sure. I'm just messing. I wanted to see what you was gonna say. Thank you for your time, and again, thank you for popping up in the Tizzy Gang space. We love you. That's all love. I appreciate it. All right, so it's a few hands, so I'm gonna try to do it. What's up? Thing. Anybody got Cortez? Yeah. Don't try to be we taking. Got, I got him running around. Don't try to take surfers. I'm in here. I definitely have him. I think Grundy has him. I don't have him thirty. You're not around. gonna thirty him. Uh, yeah, Grundy put money that he gonna win around. So. Yeah. Damn, yeah. niggas betting on a round for my pie. Surf. All I got is. Yeah, if it was in a closed room, it'd be closer. It'll for sure be close in a smaller room. Gun titles. What up? Right. I ain't that. It'll definitely. Be I don't even know how many people are gonna be in this room, but anything over three, anything over two. Boss J, skizzy, 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 skizzy. What's up, gang? What up, gang? Hey, hey, sir. Hey, I got a question, bro. You know what I mean? Like, well, I got two actually. Uh, for one, you know, with this being one of your last grudges, besides uh, Mook and, and Light, like, uh, do you think is anything he could come with to steal around? Because I'm one of them guys that don't think he gonna get around. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you um, know, in them kind of battles, like with me being a battler myself, you know, them grudges, you know, they kind of unpredictable. Right. You know what I mean? That's how it go. It's like, see, for me, it's like, I guess, I don't know why. It seems like it probably only work. For, it probably only worked for me, but it's like, for me, it's just, I talk so much shit, and you know what I mean? It'd be so much shit being said that it's like, shock factor is what possibly wins a round for somebody with me. Like, it don't even, like I said, like K-Shine's first round. Surf ain't no goddamn snitch. That shit hit. It hit right there in the moment. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you have to be talking to surf like a certain type of way to where it's just like, oh, this is put together pretty, pretty. You know what I mean? But like, I just don't, I don't know. Like a nigga can't rap better than me. I just, I just don't. I just don't see a nigga like just beating me. Yeah, I, I can feel that. And, and, and part two of my question, bro, like uh, with Midnight Madness, um, I was supposed to be on the March joint before we were made to the to the guard. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, is that card still in uh April? The the bigger card? Yeah, like the the, the original card that was supposed to be on March 11 before it was switched to uh to the, 
to the garden. No, I, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I would have to double okay, back okay. with Jack. All right, so I can take these bullets out and shit for sure, for sure. <laughs> Talk your shit, Boss J. Talk your yep, shit. Yep. I, 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 I ain't going to last serve that garlic kind of got in the way because I kind of wanted that, uh, I kind of wanted to put that money on the floor f- for that bill. You know what I mean? Talk nice. Like, like I'm one of, I'm one of them ones, sir, you know what I mean? From from you already down, whoever in front of yeah. me, they got to they gotta see that monster you did. I talk crazy now. You got to know that. It's going to be about for sure, then. I mean, you better talk on what, Jay? Fake. I yeah, can't even let t- niggas get around. That's yo. I, why my fight? My fights be totally different, bro. I can't even let a nigga get around. That shit is ridiculous. That's how it's supposed to be. That's true. That's how it is, though. That's how it's supposed to be. So we gonna you go, did we got that. Some hands you up, did that over the ten years, man. Yeah, I can't. Gonna try to get to I can't even let a nigga get around. That's crazy. Like just so. All right. So my I, question is so. So my question for y'all as fans. Because y'all are some of the people that create this anyway. Do y'all feel like it's um it's unfair stipulations put on on my uh on me or not? No. Hell no. Nah. What do you what no. do you mean? By- <laughs> That's crazy. It's only unfair if you can't do it. Nothing if you can thirty cow and John John and twerk, you can thirty Cortez. I'm not excited like that. That's regular. Back, 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 sir. Yeah, bro, come That's on, what bro. I'm saying. Like, I ain't even get battle. one year. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even get one year. That's fucked up. I thought somebody was gonna be like, yo, it's motherfuckers that say if you don't beat him enough, you lost. I don't. You don't think that's crazy? No, yeah, be like that though. Because a win is a win. I don't care how you like. Here's my thing. I hate when people. It's like niggas move the goalposts because of who they battling, right? So. I'm going to just make a quick comparison. Like, some people that I talked to when it came to Jazz and Geechee, they're saying Jazz that Geechee's going to beat the shit out of the Jazz because it's Geechee Gotti. But now people are saying you're supposed to beat the shit out of Cortez because it's Cortez. It's called Any Given Sunday for a reason. We don't know what Cortez is going to come up with. This could possibly be the best Cortez we ever seen. We don't know. But at the end of the day, on paper, I can see why they do that. But at the end of the day, we got to look at it in a reality standpoint. Like he could get around, we don't know, but you're still gonna come to the, you're still gonna write to the, to the point of I'm not giving him around. So nah, nah. I, if he get around, if he get around, he earned. I, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, if Cortez come in there and do what he's supposed to do and and get that round, I right, kudos to him. But at the end of the day, we can't be moving the goalposts just because certain niggas. You know what I mean? I mean, you know. What? Y'all gun title it. niggas, all y'all do is move the goalposts. Boss, what up, boss? Oh, whoa, whoa, what up, boss? Grundy? Grundy. Go boss and then get go to ahead, the Go ahead and laugh because you about to get <laughs> Grundy, stop it. Uh, but no, I was just going to say, do you think, kind of switching it up a little bit, do you think that um, it's a good idea for John John to take easy on his quote unquote return, or do you think that that's too dangerous of a battle for him to take on his return just to get put right back down? That's definitely a dangerous battle on his return, and um, and I low key, if you ask me, I feel like John John sat out a long time to where it's like, to me, it looks like Surf sat you down. Like if he would have popped right back outside, it would just look like a loss. You know what I mean? Like type shit. You know? did sit him down, nigga. Surf set him down. Don't say what it looked like. We gotta say what it is. Surf nah, but my set thing him is like, down no, comfortably. But yeah, but nah, it's niggas that it's niggas that lose and pop right back outside. So that like you know how much content the coach are giving right now is thirty seven events. You could be on the card thirty days later, forty days, you know what I mean? Thirty five. There's a healing process, Surf. He got a, he need time to heal and recuperate before you can well, get that, back well, out. That, well that wound is something that easy could pick at in the battle. So I think that the timing makes it a little tougher. For him to beat somebody like Easy, I think Easy to be ten and zero on that. I think Easy gonna be losing. Go ahead, KK. Go. What up? He might not lose. What's that? Me. What's up, sir? Um, I apologize ahead of time if y'all have already spoke on it, sir. So but I was up. trying to see because now they they fussing and all this other shit for like the last twenty four to forty eight hours. Are you helping Miss Hustle find Hustle a battle? Um, Miss Hustle was supposed to be on top of that. I haven't, like, I haven't spoke to Hustle about it. I could reach back out to her. I ain't yeah, speak to her. I know yeah. it was supposed to be on Hustle, though. Yeah, 
it's definitely supposed to be on hustle. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's one of these fans out here came and misconstrued a lot of things. and it's That's the stuff that I don't feel. It. That's the stuff that I don't get into. Like, that's why I started removing myself from the spaces. It kind of gave fans a false sense of entitlement and a false sense of, like, a false sense of, I mean, everybody got a voice. But, like, you know, some people wasn't using it to, like, you know what I mean? Whether it's not just about giving flowers or showing love, whether it's hate or show love, some fans wasn't using it to you for their opinion. As you know, misconstrued battlers, and I heard this battler say this, and he was in the space and said that. So I kind of had to start yeah. remove myself because of that, because you know a fan pulled up and said, "Well, he said this and he said that." Like that shit is too much. Exactly, and they so. give you they give you bits and pieces. They give you bits and pieces of facts, and you really manipulated the situation. Yeah, nah, so I just like, pull up and, ugly, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, nah, I, I just pull up and answer some questions and slide off. I don't really, you know what I mean? I don't entertain, I don't entertain that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Pull up, answer questions, slide so off. So how you think the battle between you and the fish are going to do? Um, I might not, I don't know if I'm taking, I'm not, I might not take a fish, I'm not going to lie. Oh. Yeah, I don't but think I'm taking not? a fish. <laughs> so who would you pick you know what? I'm gonna hold that for. I like him go, and Vixen uh, better. Uh, uh, I like Gator. him and Vixen better. Hold on, go to Baby like Gate right quick. So we gonna we gonna get these hands yeah. out the way, then we gonna move on to. I other think people. I wanna take Vixen on a date. Go, ooh. Oh, what up, Baby Gate? Hey. What's up? You got a question? Yeah, man. I wanted to tell some midnight madness shit. So um, when J Boy had his face open, setting it up. It was like a lot of people were screaming out shit, but nothing really was getting set up. And uh, niggas was basically running from my money. I don't know if they was running from my balls on my money, but both of them good. And I'm trying to fuck with that. Talk your shit. I feel like Midnight Man is because you could use some more New Orleans. And I'm New Orleans as it gets. Talk crazy. So, uh, whatever it take, I just want to know what it take. Money good, I'll put up whatever. DM me, DM me some of your battles. I got you, baby brother. All right. That's all I wanted to say. Y'all get me out of here. Appreciate y'all letting me hop on. Uncle Luke, what up? Appreciate you. What up, gang? Yo, so, so like, it's three niggas I fuck with heavy in battle rock that I go to the battle for, right? Sue Surf, uh, Rock, and goddamn Charlie, bro. So, so, Sam, I need that Tali and you, bro. What's the, what's the chance y'all gonna do that shit again, bro? Uh, I feel like that's the last nigga. I feel, like, little man, I feel like it's the last nigga that you gotta like go ahead and like get up, get up out of here. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't really. I feel like y'all be, you know, y'all be having y'all own little, you know, wants in y'all. I think every fan got their own little wants in their head, but I don't really feel like there's nobody I gotta like. Like, I don't, like, not even being funny, like, you know, but if you asking me personally, you know what I mean? Because I could look at it from a fan standpoint and a battle rapper standpoint. It's like, I don't feel like, like, I feel like I am an end game. I don't feel like I got no end game. Like, if you ask me, like, I don't I don't feel like it's nobody that is specifically like, yo, yeah, once he battled this nigga, then, like, I feel like it's a lot of people that, you know what I mean, know I could beat certain niggas or feel like I could beat certain niggas. There's no end game for me. You know what I mean? So I'm just, you know, I'm just here just... Whenever I feel like doing whatever I feel like doing. What's up, Cola? Sir, you talking word? like you saying oh. Showtime. Duh. Uh, Diva. Said, Diva. 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 What up? Diva in the building game. What up, gang gang? What's up? What's up? This nigga dead. What's up, sir? This nigga dead. What's up, bro? What up, though? What, man? Come what's on, man. Up? You know what's up, man. What we you know doing on? What we bring doing? Your, on, what we? What we bring doing your on, on fucking God's gloves day. and your eye Let's covers, go, man. Go, go, what, we, what we doing on God's day? Because this nigga getting fucking, God's work, man. Bring your fucking gloves and your eye covers, man. Okay, bet. Bring your fucking gloves. You That's know all shit. I need to hear, man. I ain't hit a long time. Yo, Cola, I hate you, bro. These motherfuckers might summon grandson. Hey, so that might hit for a long time, man. They got grandson. They got grandson battling on a Sunday, man. On a Thursday. On a Somebody Sunday. Trouble, Yo, man. listen. I, hey, hey, Cole, I said that. I said, Joe, what the fuck is this culture trying to do? Like, is they trying to line me up? Like, you got to understand. It's almost like a seance to get grandson to come from up out the ground. So what y'all trying to do <laughs> to try to get me to have to summon grandson on God's day? What y'all trying? Mm -hmm. Y'all trying to get me to go to hell or something? I see what's going on with this culture. It's cool, though. It's a, it's, it's a setup. It's a setup. It's a setup. That's why I feel like I'm a walk in there with I'm a walk in there all black on first because I got a peep. I don't know God in here. I don't know who in here. 
So if he get cra- if he try to get crazy first round, I might have to come up. I might have to summon Grants, but I'm I, I genuinely don't feel like I should have to take my hoodie off. I don't. I think that's what's gonna happen. First, it's probably can, come down to the first. Can I say something, sir? Of course, of course. You might have just, to, you the host. Just to make a point, you know, do that just to make a point. Cause I really I hate to say this, but niggas really got it fucked up out here. Like this is Surf and Cortez we talking about. Are we really? Are we serious right now? Surf and Cortez. Yeah, it's battle rap. We serious. Yeah. Hey, yo, no funny. It's about to be a right serious here. ass like, battle. Yo, some people don't even like like dead ass, right? Like I'm not talking about one time, right? I'm talking about like in multiples. Like you could take any one of my last whatever bat. Like name a battle where he performed better than any of my last three. Like you know, it's it's hard if I if I gotta go back to Geechee. Like yo, which one of your battles, uh, uh, which one of your Cortez battles was better than Surf versus Geechee? No, just go to any one of the last any. To close your eyes and pick a battle. You haven't done better than any of that. Any of that. And now all he of a just sudden, don't keep to, up. Now all of a sudden, he's about to be this magical. Bizarre. That's what I'm saying. Yo, that shit don't like, bro. Like it's I'm, almost a disrespect to niggas' pins, bro. Like you just don't wake up and just be like, this is a slap in my face. You don't just wake up yeah. and just like you actually. I mean, like no, you want them to put a kid on your car. You gotta <laughs> your cars. They're gonna take your car for a while and work on your no, shit. No, but you're you not nervous come back about and get it. yo round three. Is some things you gotta speak about, man. You got ten years built up. Monday, be quiet. No, because let me no. just say when you get Cortez and those type of you know battles, like look at him versus Rome. Look at him versus um. You know he hey, choked. Hey, up. Gun, you know. Hey, yo, it's listen. It's nothing that nobody could tell me about myself that I don't know. It's nothing that a person could say. Not one thing that a person could say on that stage that'd be shocking to me. <laughs> Bro, that's my nothing. motto. You cannot like say that. Q Jr., what up, Q Jr.? That's my motto. If you can't tell me nothing that'd be shocking to me. Like, that's like... What's up to the gang? That's what motherfuckers don't <laughs> get. Like, it's nothing that a nigga says shock me. Because here's the thing. Like, even the guys that you verse, like, 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 Look at Geechee. He was like on some shit. He versed you, and that was probably one of the best Geechee guys we ever seen. But we he ever seen already, like he was and niggas just judging. don't and niggas don't like because battle rap is subjective. So you got to be able to judge it right. off of something. You got to have some type of level to judge it off of. You know what I'm saying? So it's like all you could do is judge it off of skill levels. It's like yo, right. Geechee went all the way there and surf elevated past that. Where does where does Cortez have to go to even get in that realm of what we saw on that stage? We've never seen Cortez in that room do that. There's not one battle that you could put that many people in that room that he stood on that stage and did that before. And I got a bunch of those. Like I know exactly what to do when it's six, seven, eight hundred motherfuckers in the room. I know exactly what to do and how to do it. Anybody that's seen me step on the stage. No, I know exactly what to do when them lights is on. You're not about to put me up against you're not about to put me up against that nigga that's trying that's that's on the stage and still trying to figure out figure it out. You're not gonna like this old head when I was locked up, he used to fight a lot of young niggas. But his favorite saying was, Don't wait to fight me to find out you can't fight. Damn. That's like, mean. He really used to beat up on a lot of young niggas that like used to play with him. And like but every time they was walking in the cell, he would always say, Don't wait to you're not about to practice and try to become a big stage giant. You're not about to practice on me. Right. That's not the way it go. You feel me? You're not gonna see you're not gonna wait to fight me to try to figure this. This not when you about to figure it out at right now. Exactly. 